Hey guys, welcome back to another video. As you guys see on the title, I'm very excited to announce that today we are going to be installing my Honeycomb Carbon Fiber Steering Wheel. I finally was able to get one, get my hands on one, and after two months of waiting, or a month and a half, we finally got one. Super awesome pricing. And for today's shout out goes to VIXX Gaming. I know that's a room and number, honestly. I don't even know what number that is. But, uh, and I'm an accountant. Well, how does that even work, bro? Anyway, shout out to you. He said, uh, Nodi Gang always only OGs remember your Ricer G35. My car is kind of Ricer right now, it is to be honest. But, but yeah, man, the freaking Sang Gray or the Sang Yellow G35 that was pretty Ricer. I mean, it was kind of it was tuned, it was both on tune. Like, come on, guys. but shout out to you, brother. Thank you guys for the support. And you want to get a chance to be shout out on next video, all you got to do is comment down below anything. So, let's continue on with the video, peace. So one of the reasons why I didn't want to get a, a steering wheel is because I had to get honeycomb first of all so I can match the rest of the car. Second of all, everybody wanted to charge and, and it's fine. It's like it's how much they cost, whatever, but they wanted to, I mean, it costs around like a thousand dollars. So I was like a thousand dollars for a steering wheel. I mean, you got to pay to play the game, but damn, man, like, I don't know if I wanted to do that. So I finally was able to find this vendor. His name goes by Zen Carbon Fiber right here. And he gave me a really, really good pricing. Obviously, I wasn't just going to throw money at him so i looked at some of his previous work and it looked good to me it looked good in the pictures and so i was like man i'm gonna go ahead and shoot my shot the price was super good and so i did and it came through the mail to uh, a couple days ago but man the wheel looks absolutely beautiful so huge shout out to zen carbon fiber go ahead hit him up if you want your steering wheel man freaking good quality i'm gonna show you guys right now and good pricing i'm not gonna lie to you guys before this video i was actually shooting a video of how to turn off the airbag light on i tried three different different resistors and none of them work so I actually gave up on that video and my airbag is still light on so I'm sorry about that but I couldn't turn off my car and in every, if anybody can turn off my airbag light on I'll give you 20 bucks so here is the steering wheel doesn't it look amazing honeycomb carbon fiber steering wheel it's got the purple stitching around it and it's got a purple thing right here on top absolutely beautiful now the only thing about this is that the the, the steering wheel in, in, in which he used it to make this the OEM steering wheel the buttons are not in the best conditions but that's no biggie because we can replace the buttons with our OEM steering wheel since that they're already clean and nice and we could just replace these are kind of like caps somewhat and they should come off and we should be able to replace that so uh, let's go ahead uh, uninstall the steering wheel show you guys a little bit how that's done and then take this to my room and then replace the steering wheel buttons put it in the car and see how Looks. Now for this job, I'm pretty sure the only thing we need are these four things. This is a special key to take off the screws from the side of the steering wheel. These are like the star keys, but it has a hole in the middle. And then just this extension. I don't even think you need this, but I just have it because and ratchet and a set of sockets. I'm pretty sure you only need one, uh, two, one or two sizes, but uh, I just take the whole thing because I don't want to come back, go, come back, go, come back, go. Come, come. Okay, so first thing is first, we want it. There's these tabs right here. You guys can see on the side of the steering wheel, there's a little hole. Take off this tap and then you will unlock the the screw make sure you're pressing a lot of force and turning it slowly you do not want to strip these bolts man i've had my fair share of stripped bolts and it's not fun trying to figure out how the hell you're gonna take this thing off so hey we're holding it oh my bad well this thing's honking actually before you actually start this job i should have done this before take off the damn battery off the car like disconnect it because there's an airbag here in front of me and if you mess with anything it could deploy right in your face so uh, I don't know why you guys are listening to me, so disconnect the battery first. Now that the battery is disconnected, you can freely just remove this off. Take off this screw. Now this should take off the airbag. Oh, perfect. You got the airbag right there, sensors, whatever. All you gotta do is this black clip right here. Just kind of unclip it, like bring it up and then remove it from the airbag. You guys see here how the taps are kind of lifted up? Now you could just disconnect it. You don't want to do that, but I mean, I mean, it, it really is that simple, but. What are you guys asking me where the hell I got this Nissan uh, freaking airbag? It came with the car. I'm not sure exactly where it came from. Maybe an Australian car or a Japanese car, but it's here. Now this is the foam part. You can go ahead and disconnect. I think this is the horn, I believe, the horn sensor. We're, we're gonna have to take off this center lock right here. Now this one's where you're gonna wanna hold your steering wheel and, and take that off at the same time. Now this is where it becomes difficult because you gotta figure out how to hold the damn steering wheel. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna bring a breaker bar. 
I'll be back. We got ourselves a breaker bar. Let's see if this works. Did it work? Yes, sir. Woo! Finally got the center lock off. This is calling for captain strength here. Now, if you guys were curious how to take off these bins off, you're gonna wanna take off these three golden bolts. One, two, and three. And then let's see what happens. Now, once you take off those screws, you can clearly see there's one and two screws right there, and then one and two screws right there. Take that off, and the buttons should come off. Now, this is the tricky part, because once you take the buttons apart, you gotta take this cap off to replace it with the carbon one. And so, you gotta remember what goes in what, on and off, or cancel and cancel or whatever, because you don't want to press cancel, and then it's on, and then you're like, oh shit, what the hell? My the clean ones, cancel was first. Let's go ahead and put cancel right there. Let's go ahead and put on right there. Make sure this thing fits. There you go, baby. There you go. Look nice and pretty. Ooh. All right, guys, and now the buttons are swapped. These are all the clean ones. Look at that. And then these are like the dirty ones. This ones are actually not bad, but it was this one. This one was kind of like. Eh, kind of like molded it right there. Ooh. What's funny about this is that this is supposed to be a carbon wheel. Carbon stuff is supposed to make things lighter because it's carbon, lighter material, stronger material. But actually, this single is actually very much considerably heavier than this one, uh, which is funny. But I mean, it is carbon overlay. It isn't really carbon fiber steering wheel, but it is a real carbon. It's a carbonception. I don't know. Also, if you guys want to buy this 350Z, it's got around 80 something thousand miles. It is automatic transmission, but if you're interested and want to give me a price, man, uh, come on down, man. We're going to go ahead and place the steering wheel as so. And man, that looks good, man. Okay, wait, wait, let me put it on, let me put it on. At this point, baby, we're just sealing it in. We're pretty much just blessing it at this point. Pretty much sealing the deal here. Connect these suckers in, yellow with yellow. Why was I gonna put it in the orange? I have no idea. Tuck it in in this little secure wire and put this sucker in we're gonna go ahead and connect the battery at, at this point i'm just hoping that nothing freaking deploys that the horn isn't freaking stuck on auto it is stuck look man i knew it uh, i figured it out the screw that holds down the spring to like be able to spring up for the horn it will though it was super crooked it didn't even go in straight i don't know why i thought of putting it like that but thank god i found out there you go now we can go ahead and connect this Let's go ahead and press this horn, see if it works. Perfect. There you go. Perfect. Completes the whole interior and my lunchbox. And that concludes today's story of, uh, I don't know. Sheesh. See the new wheel? Damn, that thing is sick. Ooh. Man, you can't even probably see, huh? I had to freaking order freaking clips for my side skirt from Z1 Motorsports. Four miserable clips. Four miserable clips. Plastic clips. You know how much, bro? 30 motherfucking dollars, bro. First thoughts, guys? <laughs> I know this isn't a performance part or anything like that, but it's definitely a difference. The steering wheel has a lot more angles, which is, dude, this is freaking amazing, bro. I like this. I don't know how the hell they do this angle here. Like, what the hell? But I really do appreciate it. It gives the steering wheel a sense of angularity. It looks absolutely amazing. I might sound super sus or whatever. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, but it just feels a lot more it feels thicker it feels like girthier <laughs> oh man i don't know why i'm saying that but i think i got horsepower from adding the steering wheel bro i'm not even playing but not <laughs> i'm just playing but man this feels like girthier it feels like i don't know things things uh things 
when they're when they have like a little weight to it, they feel better. They feel like they have a purpose, like they're supposed to go there. For example, like your your shifter right here, your shift knob. If it's weighted, it feels a little better because it feels like it's a quality product. Oh, that is Genzilla. <laughs> same guy so you guys know it's legit man man the coincidence we run into genzilla guys no airbag no wait what, what's with the middle oh i'm doing something myself oh, oh he's doing a little oh, he, he got into the game he's getting into the game Let's see what we got today sheesh they treat me like a king boys guys we need a new microwave I, like is this thing heating up like, no, but <laughs> the only way to turn it off is to unplug it. There's no way. Man, dude. Heat this up. Oh my God. What the fuck? <laughs> no wonder I was like, why is this unplugged? Like, no wonder it's not working. And I unplugged it, and now I know why. Oh my God. I think I'm gonna buy them a new microwave for this weekend. I think that's the least I can do for all the support they're giving me, right, guys? Uh, we might as well just go to you guys we're back but anyways that was the end of the video hopefully you guys enjoyed this video of the installation of my honeycomb carbon fiber uh, this weekend like I said we got the gauge installed and we got a little something that we're gonna do a little questionable and I, I don't even know if how long that will last but we're gonna do it anyways but I'll catch you guys this weekend with another video thank you guys for supporting the channel and if you guys know any great tuners here locally that I could just go right now to my car let me know let me know down in the comment section below but besides that I'll catch you guys next video stay safe be distinct I love you guys peace